They, they don't manufacture. Manufacture gives this impression that you, know, you have a machine that you pour ingredients into at one end and it spits it out the other end finished. No, they employ artisans and craftspeople. This is metal sculpture work that lights up in your garden or your backyard. All die cut, beautifully done. There are two different versions of our little flamingo. We've got one that's obviously pink, because there's a law, okay? You, you have to have a pink flamingo. If you're gonna do a flamingo, you gotta do one in yeah. pink, right? But then we've also got one that they did in this wonderful golden bronze color, and that is much more limited at this particular point. It's our first day that we presented it at this low clearance sale price. Our easy pay option, of four easy pay payments that goes away at the end of the day. How are you, young lady? I'm doing well. Mm. How are you doing, honey? Uh, Great doing, to see you. This is Ginger Walt, and Hi, Ginger yeah. is a <laughs> big, big part of my Outdoor with Dan yes. show. Yes. Because she brings to us a lot of these really wonderful elements of outdoor home decor. It's so true, and I, I love to, you know, just extend my living room space to the outside. This is one of those pieces that has taken that classic design for, you know, the iconic, beautifully done pink flamingo and just really has done it a little bit better. It's brought to us by Evergreen who bring just beautiful outdoor decor pieces for your garden and just give you those beautiful finishing touches as well. This is about a little bit greater than two in two feet tall mm -hmm. and it has these cutouts that have been done in uh, like by a laser that have the floral design. And what we've done is something a little bit unique. It comes in two pieces and it has the stand that is built right into the leg. So it gives you nice, you know, secure stand so that it won't blow over, which I love. But we also made it hollow on the inside and gave you a spot where you can put any sort of a tea light on the in interior. You can see there's a little bit of a, a the, pedestal. The tea light is not included. It's not included, so you can put whatever you want. Okay. Any, any sort of a flameless tea light. I had one just kind of that I grabbed and just kind of put it right in there and it holds it nicely, nice and secure right on that spot. So what it's going to do, and if you have one that it can go on a timer, that's gonna be fantastic because the illumination that you're going to get at nighttime with this gorgeous fl uh, floral design on your landscape, on against your house, or even if you nestle these inside with your interior, boy, does that give a beautiful look for the inside. Now, again, two colors. We've got the bronze, yes. we've got the pink. Did you know that flamingos are not pink? Yeah, correct. Yeah, I mean, they are, it's but they're not. It's for what they eat, right? Yeah, yeah, they, they, they feast almost entirely on little pink brine shrimp, brine shrimp. And it actually affects the color of the bird. If you see a little baby flamingo, Look they're wonderful little, little gray and white. Is that your your? Place? That is in the front entrance. Okay. And just to show you that if you do nestle this into your interior design, you can have that cascading floral design. Now it, it actually becomes a nice night light if you do put that tea light on a timer. And you know, it's a decorative piece during the day. At nighttime, you're gonna get that subtle illumination from the interior that's going to illuminate out. These are all made out of metal and they're treated metal as well. Okay. With that paint that's been baked right into the, the metal, but it's also UV protected too. So when you do put this out, you don't have to worry about the elements. You have those cutouts on both sides and there is light assembly. The legs actually attach right onto the body. There's only two pieces that come with this. And, and it's little wing and nuts. And that's it. Yeah, that's, you don't need any it. tools, you're good. Right, no, no tools what required. What you do need though, is you do need to provide the tea light. Because I don't want anybody getting humor. it Yeah, and a sense of humor. <laughs> because yeah. pink flamingos are, are all in, I it's gotta, everywhere. I never quite understood this. Flamingos are like this universal sign of summer. Yes. <clears throat> but they survive well in winters too. I mean, they're, they're around all year round, but we think of flamingos in the summer. Now, also, uh, I always, this is wrong. I always have at least one flamingo in my yard. Is it hidden? Because like find no, you know, no, 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 no. It is. It is where everyone can see. It. <laughs> I love because it. Because <laughs> in, in the house that my wife and I lived in when we first got married, we were in a home association, uh, and they they listen. It wasn't even a a, a big house, but the <laughs> home association. They wouldn't allow you to put the pink no, flamingos in it. Yes. Not put such mm -hmm. things in your room. Yeah. So it therefore made me go get a flamingo, and. Uh, <laughs> 
I just make a statement. Just a yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. I Don't love tell me that. what I can and cannot put in my yard. <laughs> so I've had a pink, a pink flamingo of some kind, uh, of some size or variation yes. uh, for the last 18 years. Isn't that something? Yep. So this is one of those that has, you can see a subtle hammered look to it as well with that metal. It's a the wonderful shape. upscale look. It's a very nice upscale look. I, I completely agree. If you put two of them together, um, they, well, then they, you wind up with a lot of, of flamingos. Then you wind up, but it almost looks like a heart shape, which oh, is kind of cool. something that's very cute. <laughs> I love yeah, to decorate right. with these. They're so much fun. The pink is uh, obviously the most popular, but that's kind of the classical traditional color. I like the bronze. It makes it more of a, a sculpture like piece to be able to enjoy. So why not? Ginger, you're coming back a little bit later on, right? Yes, sir. All right. Take a look at what she's bringing us a little later on. These, these are stargazing. Stakes that come out of the ground. They look like.